Hello everyone, this is Marcin Jodek from Corona Renderer. This time I would like to show you some of the most basic things you will probably want to do in Corona or any other renderer, which is loading a spherical HDR map as your scene environment. So I have prepared a simple scene again. You can see some test objects in it. This one has a simple diffuse grey material. This one has a mirror material. And this one has a glass material. And we have also a simple ground plane here, and some grass to add some realism to this scene. Ok, let's do a test render now and see what happens. So, the only thing we can see now is a black screen. This is correct, because we don't have any light sources in our scene. So let's just cancel this. And we need to add some light to our scene. There are actually two ways of adding HDR environment in Corona. One of them is using the native 3ds Max environment di dialog, which you will find in rendering, environment, or you can also press the 8 key. And in this window you have this environment map slot, which is empty now and that's why we don't have any light in our scene. And the second way is using Corona settings, so let's go to rendering, render setup, or you can also press F10. And now let's go to scene, scroll down find scene environment and here you have these two radio buttons which you can choose and one of them is use 3ds max settings and the other one is use corona so you can switch between them but now let's use 3ds max settings this setting will take environment map from 3ds max environment and effects window so let's leave it like this and let's load an hdr map here Ok, I will be using one of the HDR maps that you can download off our website. So let's open it. I won't change any settings here. Let's use real pixel 32 bits per pixel and default exposure. Ok, and now let's make sure that this map is in spherical environment mode, mapping mode. So let's just drag it from here to Material Editor. Let's make it an instance, OK. And we have to make sure that Environment is checked here and Spherical Environment here. So these are the correct settings. And let's see what happens now when we render the scene. OK, you can already see that this map is visible in Reflections, in Refractions, and that it illuminates the scene by casting light and shadows. So let's cancel this now and I will do another test render to show you the sky. Ok, so you can clearly see that this map is also visible directly. Ok, let's cancel this. So this is the first way of loading HDR environment map. So now let's clear this map and use the other way. So let's go to render setup, scene, Scene environment and switch to use Corona. And now we can use this slot to load our bitmap image. Ok, so I am loading the same image and I will do a test render now. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same. It's visible directly, it's visible in reflections and refractions, and it also affects lighting. So there is no difference in appearance of the scene or uh, performance when using these two ways of loading HDR map, so you can just use the workflow you prefer. So basically that's all about loading a single HDR environment map, but what I would also like to show you is how to use these environment overrides here. So let's leave this HDR background and I will use another map for Reflections override. Ok, and I will use the other map which is provided on our website. Ok, and again let's check if it's loaded properly. Yes, its mapping is set to spherical environment, so it should work just fine. And I will now zoom onto uh, one of our test objects to see what reflections look like. 
Okay, you can see that this map is in the reflection, is visible in the reflections. But now, if I zoom out, you can see that our previous map is still visible directly. So our previous map is used as direct visibility, refractions, and lighting, and the newly loaded map is only used as reflections. Okay, you can do the same with refractions. Let's just switch this map into this slot here. So now we are using the first map for direct visibility, reflections and lighting, and we are using the other map for refractions. Okay, you can see that it, work, that it works just fine. And of course, instead of using a map, you can also use a color here. So let's make some reddish color. And you can clearly see that this, this color is set as our reflect override. Okay, there is also another way of using environment overrides. So let's uncheck this now. We will be using our Corona environment, which looks like this. And the other way of using overrides is using the, them per material. So now I will assign glass material to all our test objects. So let's just copy this one and call it solid glass 1, solid glass 2, and solid glass 3. Okay, and now I will assign this material to this object, this one to this object, and the last one will stay with the same material. Okay, so let's see what our scene looks like now. Alright, we are using only one map for direct visibility, for reflections and refractions. So now let's say that for some reason I want to use another map, this one, for the refractions of this object. So I will se select this object, find its material, scroll down to Refract Background Override, and simply drag and drop this map into its Refract Background Override. Okay, and let's see what happens now. You can clearly see that this object uses a different refraction map than these objects. Okay, to make it even more apparent, we can use a solid color instead of a background map. So, let's find Corona color. And maybe let's pick a red color. Okay, so now you can clearly see that this material uses this red color as reflection override. You can also do the same with reflections. So let's select the second material, scroll down to its reflect background override, and use this map. Okay, this isn't so apparent because these two maps are pretty similar. So, as before, I will use a simple color for this. So maybe let's make this yellow. Okay. And now you can clearly see that the reflection of this object is yellow. So let's just cancel this now. So I think this is all you can say about environment in Corona. If you like this video, please check out the rest of our tutorials.